Uh, hello, good morning. Welcome to this week's update. Uh, I had payroll yesterday, so um, a few things going on. Began the week oil bullish, uh, stocks bullish, uh, bonds bearish, but needed, uh, I think, to break some levels. And uh, a few other bits and pieces. So let's uh, see where, what happened and what we've got for the coming week. We'll start with currencies, pretty quiet. Although we did get involved in EuroCAD midweek, which I'll go through. I'll uh, we'll start with the dollar index. Looking at the daily here, very very quiet week. Chopped in sideways. We're pretty close to that final weekly level at 97.13. We just stopped shy of it, and obviously we've got that perfect zone uh, below, which held on the Fed from a few weeks ago. So daily close above that level, and that opens up the uh, upside once again and the target 145 so on a breakout we'll try and get involved I'm conscious that we've had a couple of false ones in the last few months but um, can't keep on banging up the door and not uh, finally going through onto the euro um, not surprisingly also pretty quiet um, we stopped just short of that daily support on Tuesday um, that now represents um, what is called a bear trap which is at 111.71 my 76 uh, so keeping an eye on that we really want to see that break as well um, at the same time as the dollar index does something pound uh, buffeted as always ultimately didn't really get anywhere um, a weekly level has moved up to support at 129.52 so that's an important reference but uh, it's difficult to get involved in it it's too much nonsense going on really dollar yen the stocks up dollar yen up and it just ground its way higher through the week as with stocks so uh, that buy signal from the week before it wasn't a support and really you're trading stocks, you're not trading dollar yen, so why trade a secondary instrument, especially one that's likely to move when you're fast asleep. Aussie dollar, Aussie dollar did pretty uh, pretty well considering. Um, we had another buy signal in sideways the week before, but really ultimately nothing much happened. Kiwi. had a big sell the week before then because it's been stuck in sideways we've sort of had the bull whip signals counter trending that but it's really because there's nothing going on that those signals are appearing um, big reference below at 66.75 dollar cad um, we had a minor negative um, but it came down to its short term support uh, and held perfectly, which was pretty much at the figure. I think 130. Get my big figures. Yeah, 133. Even there was a short-term level on the trend, and this led us into EuroCAD. Um, there was a few things all pointing the same way there. Obviously, dollar CAD at support. Um, we're expecting oil was actually at its uh, major resistance on a weekly level as well, which meant. Um, expecting a reaction back down in crude which would be bad for the Canadian dollar and when we look at the cross rate we were at the major daily weekly and monthly support all together so we had a bull whip signal uh, timing point so got long um, already taken some profits on it uh, so we've basically got a free trade uh, plenty of room on the upside and when we look at crude we'll see that crude is now broken up again so that's also uh, potentially uh, there is another level above so uh, it's a free trade so that's all that really matters it's the way we like to be right that's enough on currencies pretty quiet so let's move on to commodities <coughs> 